Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me 80 summer full four. So today guys we talk to you guys about the Copa Libertadores and Copa Suda America draws. So we're gonna be looking into the round of 16. We'll also look a little bit into the quarterfinals, semis, and the final as well. I'll give you an early, early preview. And obviously we'll do the same with Copa Suda America. So please remember guys to like and subscribe, guys. And as I'm trying to cover this tournament, guys, this has been a fun tournament to watch, and I've been really, really interested in watching it. And I'm trying to get some more exposure. So please, in the comments below, man, please help me learn these teams out you know like i said trying something out new and you know like i said man should be interesting all right we have our first match we got atletico nacional versus racing atletico nacional have done pretty good in the colombian league i've been pretty pretty impressed with them racing on the other hand have also done good as well the problem for though is that colombian teams tend to disappoint a lot of times and so i would say this isn't a prediction by the way racing are probably the favorites racing probably should advance for that matchup however you can't cut off Atletico Nacional. You know, maybe if they could win the first leg by a good score margin, by a big margin, they could go to the second leg and go to Argentina and, you know, just see out the draw, you know, or lose a game by like a small margin, still advance by a hefty score, you know? So, you know, like I said, there's that. Then we have Nacional versus Boca Juniors. Boca Juniors, man, they got lucky with the draw. They avoided the Brazilian clubs, all of them, which is a miracle. Like, the, the fact that they avoided all the Brazilian clubs is incredible to like the semifinals, which is incredible to say the least so boca juniors man they should be going in a deep run they should be able to beat nacional i would expect them to and it should be very interesting now we have atletico monero versus palmeras probably one of the best matchups in the round guys because obviously it's a local derby both these clubs hate each other and i really really hope that atletico monero can do this because palmeras of course we know how good they have been they have they're, they have got some of the best recent history. You know, I think they won back-to-back Copa -back Libertadores. Obviously, Flamengo stopped them last year. And, you know, obviously, Palmeiras is going to try to get revenge and obviously try to win it this time around. And they're probably one of the favorites to win this. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Hopefully, Atletico Manera can stop them. But you would probably say Palmeiras are the favorites. Then we got Deportivo Pereira versus Independiente de Vela. I've been really, really impressed with them. You know, this is a really fun club to watch, you know. And obviously, um, future Chelsea player Kendry P Pais is playing for this club. So, you know, I think it'll be interesting to see how they do. And they will be, they're one of the teams I'm backing to. They're one of the teams I'm supporting to win this tournament. So, they should be able to beat Deportivo Pereira. Uh, you know, and it'll be interesting to see what happens. And obviously, a very tasty matchup could happen in the quarterfinals. Then, obviously, we have Bolivia versus Atletico Parnese. I mean, <laughs> Atletico Parnese should be able to win this. I mean, Bolivia, shout out to them for what they did in the group stage. Fantastic achievement. This will be a crazy thing if they can make it to the quarterfinals. You know, they have to make the most of the home game. And I don't expect Atletico Parnese to win. They have River Plate versus Internacional. I mean, this is an interesting one, guys. Um, You know, River Plate. Could we see them against Atletico Parnese? It could be a potential, potential Brazil derby as well. It's a very interesting matchup. It's very difficult to call a favorite for this one, guys. I'm not quite sure who I'm going to lean towards. Um, so, I will leave it with you that. And then we have Flamengo versus Olympia. Flamengo should be able to beat Olympia. Um, it will be second leg. will be difficult, though, in Paraguay. Because Flamengo did actually come second place in the group. So, Flamengo have to win the, the home game by a good, huge margin. And the second leg, they can, like I said, they can try to like, get the draw or lose the game. Maybe 1-0. And still advance, like, 4-1 aggregate. Something like that, you know? They were Argentinian Juniors versus Fluminense. Probably the best matchup of the round. Possibly the most difficult to call as well because Fluminense have not been in good form, but they still have that pedigree and talent. Argentinian Juniors have been in good form, and so it'll be interesting to see what happens, guys. So looking ahead to the quarterfinals, we'll do it very, very briefly here. We could potentially have a Racing versus Boca Juniors. You know, Boca Juniors should be able to win that. So Boca Juniors, you could probably say they have an easy path to the semis. Then we have Palmeiras versus Atletico Monero. And Independiente de Vele versus Deportivo Pereira. I mean, Independiente de Vele versus Palmeiras. Matchup that could very well happen. And then we could possibly see Palmeiras versus Boca Juniors. That could be a very interesting matchup, you know. And yeah, then we have Atletico Paranaense versus River Plate, possibly. That could be a very interesting one. It's very difficult to call, though, for that one. Um, and, you know, also Internacional. I would expect Paranaense to beat either of the two teams, to be honest with you guys. So, you know, Paranaense could possibly be in the semifinals. You know, and then obviously have Flamengo versus Olympia, and then maybe Argentina Juniors versus Fluminense. So Flamengo versus Fluminense could be an interesting one. The local Brazil derby, and then we have Flam. Flam we could also potentially see Flamengo versus Atlético Paranaense, Boca Juniors versus Palmeiras, and we could possibly see a repeat of a repeat of the semifinals of last edition, Flamengo versus Palmeiras as the final. That would be a crazy, crazy final. So you know, 
and it'll be interesting to see what happens. So I hope you guys did enjoy my couple of the doors, you know, briefly looking into this. You know, it'll be very interesting. So I will definitely do more coverage. And I'll probably give a prediction video when we get closer to the actual games, which will be in August 1st and 8th, respectively. All right, moving on to the Suda America. Okay, so Suda America, we have Sporting Crystal versus Emelec. That's a very interesting one. Sporting Crystal, it could be very interesting. I, you know, you could probably, I'll give my predictions with Suda America here because the games are next week. So, um, I'll say is Sporting Crystal should be able to beat Emelec. And defensive wise, just to say, versus Sporting Crystal, that could be a very interesting matchup. Then we have Patronato versus Botafogo. Um, obviously, Botafogo have been amazing. They're top of the, the Brazilian league. So, you would probably expect them to win. And then they're going to be playing against Guarani. Hopefully, I'm butch uh, not butchering these names. If I'm mispronouncing names, please let me know in the comments below. Um, anyways, for that matchup, guys, that's going to be a very interesting one. We could see a potential league, guys. A defensive wide just to see a versus bunch of figure, which will be crazy, man. That could be very, very crazy to happen in the quarterfinals. Then we have Independent Medellin versus San Lorenzo and versus Sao Paulo. So I would probably say San Lorenzo should win that. And then we could see San Lorenzo versus Sao Paulo. I might actually back Sao Paulo, maybe, because the second leg's at home, but I don't know, man. It's a difficult one. It's a difficult one. They have New Balance versus Adox Italiano. I'll say New Balance win. Uh, New Balance versus Le De Quitu. Interesting there. And then we have Barcelona versus Estudiantes. This is going to be a very interesting one. Hopefully, Barcelona can do it. I have a feeling Estudiantes will probably do it, so I'm going to go with them. Hopefully, I'm, you know what? I'm going to back Barcelona. I'm going to say Barcelona win this. But it's going to be very close. Then we have go them versus Goiz. Barcelona should be able to win that because Goiz is in the relegation zone in the, Bel in the Brazilian league. Then we have Corinthians versus Universitario. Uh, Corinthians should win that, even though they've been in terrible form. Newells versus Newells Old Boys. Then Colo Colo versus America Monero. Colo Colo should be winning that. I mean, America Monero is a relegation zone. Um, and then obviously Red Bull Bragrento. Um, that could be a tricky matchup for both teams. And we got Libertard versus Tigre versus Fortaleza. So I would probably say Tigre. Actually, I might say. I would say Libertard, actually. I would say Libertard wins that. So yeah, it'll be very, very interesting. So like I said, guys, looking ahead to the quarterfinals. Uh, we could possibly see defensive wide just to see versus Botafogo. That could be a great matchup. You know, I would probably favor Botafogo to make the semis. Uh, then we have um, then we have Sao Paulo um, versus um, Quito, um, possibly uh, Nubalens. I will probably say Nubalens. Actually, I will probably say Quito. I'll say Quito probably. Sao Paulo should be able to beat that team, and then we could see a Sao Paulo versus Botafogo in the semis. One of the Brazilian clubs will be guaranteed to make the final. And um, I'll probably say Botafogo, even though their coach did leave for El Nassar. And then we have um, Barcelona versus Estudiantes. You know, if Barcelona wins that, they should be able to be Goiz. And then we could see Barcelona versus Corinthians. And unfortunately, I'll probably back Corinthians on that one. Hmm. Because I think Corinthians should be able to beat Newell's old boys. And then we have Colo Colo versus America Monero. I was say Colo Colo beat them Red Bull Bragento. I'll probably say Red Bull probably should win that. And then Libertad versus Tigre. I'll say, I'll probably say, which one I picked here? I think I picked Libertard. Um, Fortis Leia, I'll say Red Bull probably win that. And the Red Bull versus Corinthians, I'll say Corinthians probably win that. And then we have Corinthians versus Pacifico. And I'll probably go with Corinthians. So I'm probably going to go with Corinthians to win this. That is my final prediction. But um, these are like early predictions, guys. This is just kind of for fun, you know, like I said, guys. You know, very, very early. Um, so like I said, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below guys You know it should be very very interesting to see what happens and I like I said guys hope you guys enjoy So guys like and subscribe and yeah, I'll see you guys later man. Peace out